Is Keefy D getting out? Did his bail get denied? What's going on? WAC 100 reacts to the getting press and testifying at the Keefy D bail hearing. So let's get to the content and listen to what WAC talk. We got the media team in there. We're the media We're team. We're the media team. We got content. TV's in the go. We got TV in the go. Wack. You looking for that fire clubhouse content? Well, you need to subscribe to the home. Hey, yo, clubhouse TV. Let's get to the content. That's a good one. You know the question everybody want to ask you, Wack. What happened to what? that? Oh, no. They still in the, uh, the, the judge ain't came back yet. The attorney just texted me. We wait to see. I mean, you know, all that was supposed to be in was to verify where the funds come from. You see, you see at the end of it, I had to come off mic. I said, well, I gave you six months bank statements of property. What you mean you don't know where the money came from? They asked the DA. The DA said, they said, you got that? The DA said, oh, yeah, we got it. So why you ain't why you ain't telling them where the money come from? You think it's because that totally you? that totally debunks what Keefy D had to see. That's the porch what Keefy D was telling his wife. Right, so I just talked to the son. I said, "Hey, bro, I don't know Keefy D. Why? Why she don't like me, bro? What, what? What happened?" And guess what? I just figured out. What? She, she's related to the victim of Chicken Mike. Damn, small. And they ass, all man. think they all think that I paid for his attorney. And this is the public defender. I told him I can't support him with the attorney. I told him that. Wait, what happened yeah. with Chicken Mike? Who is that, bro? Oh, uh, that's my one of my own boys. He uh, go go Google Michael Parks Pacoima. Hold on, USC Michael one. Michael Parks Pacoima. Right. You'll see one of the most horrific murders. It's crazy. I just so I guess when she went down there, she started calling him names and telling him about dealing with me, and he she did that to throw her off because he thought he needed the property. You know what I'm saying? He needed her to put the property up. Because I was wondering, I said, yo, where all that come from? He said, bro, she came down. And I said, mad at me about what? I don't know. I don't know his wife. He said she's related to the family of Chicken Mike, the victim. I said, well, shit, even with that, I ain't did nothing. He said, well, they think you paid for the attorney. I said, they can't think that. He had a public defender the whole time. That nigga said, what? I said, yeah, bro, go check. Go pull up his legal, and they'll tell you exactly what they were. He called me back. He said, bro, I just ran that information. I said, bro, they all know. Her daddy and all of them know that nigga had a public defender. They know I didn't pay for his attorney. I wouldn't pay for it. Yo, bro, they just say he strangled, stabbed, and shot her, bro? Yeah, I got to, I talked to him last week about this. I got, we ran the content in the morning show. Yeah, that's, that's probably, crazy. that's probably the most dangerous in my neighborhood. Straight up, number one. Number one dang from wax set is that man right there. Straight up. I did everything possible to try to keep that man. When I tell you, like, that's one of my, you know, he want to, that's the nigga that moved with me. I could control him, so he had went to jail. I didn't even tell you all this. He had went to jail previous because he snatched her up, put her in the trunk, had her in the trunk, riding around the neighborhood with her. Right? Remember when I said, yo, I told her to leave your ass in there. That's what it was. She went back and retracted the statement with the DA if she wouldn't have, if she'd have listened to me I said yo leave him in there you need to deal with that you don't you need to go live your life and go your way y'all ain't for each other his attitude temperament and your mouth is nah I want you to picture the most disrespectful female you ever heard and put times 50 on it that's her she wouldn't do it to me but she did to everybody else her daddy everybody she'd tell her daddy hope you that's how she talked this dude was like 20 years older than her, so, you know, I told him, y'all heard on the thing. What, you heard me tell a nigga? Yeah, you should have listened. I told y'all y'all didn't put each other. I told her to leave your ass in there. 
Nah, let, let him go fight his case and do his time and you go your way. Told her that with him on the phone. You go your way, live your life. If he did what you said he did, let him deal with that. And you go live your life and let him deal with what he got to do. And then, cool, put some space between y'all. I looked up. She went down there to the DA and retracted her story. And he was out. 90 days later, boom, there go the story you reading, ghost. So, look, look. So, how long was he sitting in there, like, like fighting that? You know what I'm saying? Like, the first situation. About four months. Three, four months. I told her, I said, he on the phone. I said, leave him in there. Let him fight his case. And you go live your life and go do what you gonna do. Y'all don't need, y'all need some space with y'all. What you saying? What I'm saying is, bro, I'm trying to save your life and save her life. Because both of them gonna be affected. Her mouth, her temperament, her attitude, and your mother mentality, and your rage, don't, don't, don't mix, bro. And you, you know were literally saying? the warning. You were literally her warning before the storm. Yeah, I listen. You heard me, Chosen. You wasn't in here when we ran the content. Hell yeah, I <clears> nigga called that me. Shit. I remember. He called shit. me last week. No, he called me last week. I told him. I said, yeah, nigga, you should have listened to me. I told you. Y'all wasn't for each other. You were so, open their warnings. That's crazy. Nigga, I told her, told him, told him and her on the phone. That's my that's my one of my niggas. Like my nigga, you don't bro, listen. Y'all don't fit. Something bad gonna happen. And even before this happened, I begged her. I begged and pleaded, yo, where you at? That nigga called me. He said, bro, I'm down to my last ten thousand. I go to it and it's gone. She texted me talking about her and her brother got it and we use a best nigga. See, she used to dealing with niggas like that, and they just, you know, deal with it differently. <clears throat> I called her. I said, yo, I that nigga. Me and my brother finna, you know, we fought to, we finna split that and move the whoop. I said, yo, just, yo, listen to me. Don't do that. Something bad gonna happen. So something bad gonna happen. She like, that nigga, y'all get that nigga too much. I said, you don't know this nigga. This nigga is her mama's age. Remember that. So, coming up, she don't know. She didn't met this nigga when he didn't got out of jail, and there it go. And, man, this was the same. That was probably about noontime, about 4 or 5 o'clock, somewhere around there. That nigga found her. He found her. She didn't have that money, and there you read. You reading it, ghost. Now it still don't stop then. He get out, he gone to run. I know the nigga. He already know he watched. Right? I know him. I'm trying to find him. Ghost, why you think I'm trying to find him? Cause you know he about to go do some wild shit. He finna go on a spree. Killing spree, robbing spree, all that. That nigga called me, he in Vegas. Watch this. Guess who house he's scoping out? Keefe D. Because old girl mama is over there hiding out. And somebody didn't told him. Know what You're I crazy. do? I get, on the, I get on the phone with him. I say, hey, you done did enough. Stop. And whack I'm going out with a bang. I'm going to make sure they, got, they can laugh about all kind of shit. I said, bro. If you ever want me to talk to you or communicate with you ever in life, turn yourself in. Well, I said, bro, you go do what I think you own. I'm never, you can never call on me for your grandmama. You can't call on me for your family. You can't call me about nothing. Turn yourself in, bro. And a nigga turned himself in with me on the phone. So I told, I said, my nigga, I helped him more than 10 ways. I tried to help prior. She wouldn't listen. And my nigga, believe it or not, and I told him, I said, bro, the lady was over there at, at y'all house. He said, whack, you ain't lying. They was down. I said, bro, he was coming. I said, he turned himself in in Vegas. He said, whack, he showed that. I know he did. So I don't know why she mad at me. He mad at me for I ain't do nothing. 
They thought you got him an attorney. I said, the nigga got 385 years, bro. What a public defender. Who his, who his, who Keefe D wife is to the victim? I guess she related. I don't know if she a cousin to the mama. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, because I don't know his wife. But I guess that was the problem because, see, originally when I was calling, I'm trying to get the bouncing on the phone with her to clear the house arrest because, you know, she got to agree to it. I ain't knowing the rest of the shit going on. I'm in the dark. I'm totally in the dark. So she went up there once she figured out it's me and got to telling the nigga he was a sellout and some crazy shit and some crazy shit. So he started telling them all, kind of telling her anything. Like, nah, it ain't. He just the front. He dealing with some Jewish people. I, when I was here, then I said, oh, yeah, he just tried to get her off of it. He saying anything. He, he ain't lying about that. He was trying to get her off of it. Like I told the uh, dude, I said, hey, <clears throat> I don't got no contract as of yet. Now, what I choose to do once the trial is over is my business. Exactly. Y'all didn't stop OJ from doing nothing. That's, a, trial was over. Mm, that's what I said. Yeah, I said, what I choose to do when the trial is over, because I know the man ain't nobody. Yeah, I heard a clip of you saying that shit. I heard a clip of you saying that you feel like he, he um innocent. Man, man. I think you I think you might have said you know he innocent. Did you say you know, you know man, he innocent or you think man that nigga Keefe D ain't never done in his life, bro? That nigga was a drug dealer, bro. He was a hustler. He man, he don't do all that. He ain't gonna be he ain't no fighter, he ain't no murderer. Keefe D is none of that shit. None of that. He stand G with his hands tied behind his back, bro. He just one of them old school niggas just like to get some money. That's it. He's not the old school fighter, stabber, shooter, none of that. He had the plug, and from the plug, he came up. And when he came up, he brought the low riders, took care of the niggas in the neighborhood, and guess what? So now all the fighters, they're going to stand around you and protect you. That's it. So, if you ever hear "Don't Keep VD," it don't come from what Keep VD do. It came from really what who did, Ghost? Them baby niggas Lane. around him. Yeah, Baby Lane and them niggas around but, him. Then I was his nephew by blood. That's his sister's son. So, Keefe ain't did no mother. No, that ain't him, bro. You meet the nigga. He's a jolly, silly mother. That ain't what he do, bro. Yeah, you can Ghost tell that from his interviews. interviews. Yeah, you can tell that from his interviews. interviews. That ain't do at all. So I'm like, yo, so I told him, y'all know the nigga who got the car. He like, what? I need my, I know you know the nigga. I said, yeah, I know the nigga got your car. He on Clubhouse. He sent me the pictures of your car. He had a fold, rag fold. We like, what? I still got the pink slip. We never closed the deal. I said, I talked to the nigga, see if we can get it going. But you gonna have to sign the shit. He ain't going for it because he spent some money. So, nigga got storage fees. The nigga got the cars in the trenches. Y'all know who the fuck got that nigga car? King Kev got his car. Y'all probably heard me talking to King Kev by car. How did, how Kev got his car? Kev, Kev told it or something? Y'all left it in one of his shops or some shit? About that before. Yeah, King Kev. Uh, I don't know how Kev ended up because Kev do a lot of business in LA, but he might have went to jail one time and I think he like. He pined it and for a certain amount. And that's why they still got the pink slip. Kev shipped them up to the East Coast, like Philly or something. And I guess just through all the time, they lost contact with each other. Kev ain't doing a car sitting in the garage. I can PTR right now, sitting in the garage right now. Keep you one bet. Yeah, hell yeah, he want a motherfucker. It's, it's it's a it's like the Tupac car, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's a monumental piece. Everybody know it. Here it go right here. Sit in King Cab Garage right now. There it go right there. Yeah, that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's sitting in camera right here. That's the one from that Usher video, right? Yeah, there you have it. That's it. Yeah, so I told him, I said, shit, what I choose to do after the trial proceedings is shit, what I can do. The man will be a free man, right? Now, when I'm talking about getting something done, yeah, we was going to get to writing and, and, and doing all that kind of shit because ultimately he got to control all that shit. But as far as the thing, we couldn't do nothing until after the trial was done. What you going to do? Have a story spreading on the motherfucking TV of some crazy shit happening and the nigga on try that don't even make sense. Don't make sense. Acting no, like the nigga got this. a kingpin charge or something, asking for all no, these documents and shit. Yeah, but you listen, you didn't hear what at the end of it when they tried to say, well, we still don't know where the funds come from. I said, yes, you do. I sent you six months bank statements. What you mean you don't know where it came from? They asked the DA, DA, do you? Oh, yes, I have the bank statements. So why you ain't? Because for the DA to say we have the bank statements, totally supports what Keefe D is saying when he's saying cash ain't got no money like that because all the money's in the bank statements that supports what he's saying I told her whatever I needed to tell her because I thought I needed her to sign for something because she in there on his head that's why they didn't play the whole thing they'd have played the whole thing you would have heard her saying you a sellout you just dealing with this nigga and this 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 that so his whole thing is it ain't him it ain't him my baby i ain't dealing with him it ain't him you know no difference there nah man that ain't my girl that's the homeboy sister nah she in the car i was just taking her home <laughs> same shit but i mean that's the difference in me and mine nigga don't come question me nothing about my business do what i ask you to do and that's it So when I heard that, I knew what he was doing. Well, actually, I didn't. I knew it was a problem. I said, it's a problem. So when I called the son, he like, man, she don't like you because of your homeboy. I said, what homeboy? When he said the name, I said, what the fuck that got to? And he like, that's her family. I said, oh, I get it. They think you played for the attorney. I said, they see me at one court date? Nah. He said, but now I just talked to the, the rest of them, and they saying the nigga had a public defender. I said, well, where'd that come from? He said, the, the uncle, nigga named Jamie, went back and told him, you got the nigga an attorney. I said, I wouldn't get him an attorney. I said, if it's, it's on Facebook somewhere, on Lemon Line page, if you go to Lemon Line page on Facebook, to where he asked me about it, I was in my backyard. And I said, no, nah, I'm won't. i not getting him an attorney. He's too close. Can't do it. I knew the girl. She was cool with me, respectful to me. No her, no her daddy, no her mama, no the whole family. Shit, that's Mikey's first cousin. Mikey who? Who want to be in our room. So the, the girl family from your neighborhood too? Yeah, all of them. G homies. Damn, that's, that's a fucked up situation. First generation. First generation niggas. Niggas that put the set on the map. Yeah, that's Mikey's first cousin. Her daddy is a fisher. Mikey, la Mikey's a fisher. Her daddy, watch this. Her daddy, the girl rest in peace. Y'all follow me? Her daddy is Mikey's mama brother. Oh, that's wow. his first cousin. Yeah. Real talk. They, you know, they put everything on me, though. They, I'm never forget that nigga went and brought a Porsche truck or something. I guess, I don't know what he went and did. Whack brought Chicken Mike a car. Well, nigga pop up with a car, I did it. I'm like, man, get that nigga his credit. I don't know where that nigga got that shit from. I ain't brought it for it. Get that nigga his credit. I don't know what Mike did when he did. Yeah, but they really need to really regroup because I really tried... They all know the daddy know they know. I tried, man. That nigga Chicken Mike is probably the most dangerous nigga from my neighborhood, bro. Straight up. He 
He a broad daylight nigga. He don't give a fuck. If the police standing right there, he the type of nigga that if you cuffed in the back of the squad car and you his target, he finna give it to you in the back of the squad car. He gonna walk up, give it to you. He don't give a fuck about going to jail. Y'all heard the way the nigga was talking, dude. That sound like a nigga that got 385 years. They're like. Hell no. <laughs> Yo. Man, he told me years ago, I said, man, when you gonna have some kids? Nah, whack, I'm gonna die in prison one day. I ain't gonna do that. Fuck you mean? Yeah, man, I'm gonna die in prison for killing somebody. Or they gonna, you know, shit, that's what I do. If a nigga that's talking like that, you better watch out. That's a dangerous man. No, I'm telling you. You didn't hear, I was like, nigga, I, when he called me, I said, this who? I said, well, nigga, what you had, a mini bike or a go-kart? He said, I had a big go-kart. I beat your daddy Pinto. Like, I was a bait. Like, that nigga been, I've been knowing this nigga since I've been like four, five years old. You know, the nigga that was always breaking everybody's house. The nigga that hit such and such in the head with a bat. The nigga that mugged the lady. That's him. That yeah. nigga always been fucked up. Always, bro. Like, always. I'm telling you, nigga, that's nigga is probably the most dangerous nigga he actually is. He the type of nigga, if y'all shooting dice, don't argue with him. He gonna pop you right there. Hey, my nigga, my dice, now you got me, boom, nigga, like I said, my dice. Now get your bitch ass to the Y'all don't remember I told y'all the story of my homie that owed a nigga some money and he couldn't find him and, and he found I out he was playing that. in the church? I remember that story. He the nigga that went in the church and put the gun to the nigga head on the pool pit and walked him out. Yeah, like a nigga do some shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember he called me talking about whack. Them niggas is snitching on me. I said, nigga, them church people ain't snitching. They telling the truth. The fuck is you talking about? Ain't nobody going fucking with them church people. Yo, crazy. This nigga walked in the church. Dude was up there playing the drums or whatever the fuck he played. On the, you know how the people be up there. And he owed the niggas some money from a dice game. And I guess dude stopped coming around. They told that nigga, that nigga be in that church playing them drums or whatever the fuck that nigga play. That nigga walked beeline right in the middle of service, nigga. Right down the middle of the fuse, right on up to the pool pit, right and put that thing to his head and say, nigga, let's go. And I and heard of his, some crazy men, but I ain't never heard of nobody crazy enough to go in the church and get and a nigga walk his gun ass point. right out the Hell motherfucking no. um, thing. And told all the church people on Paul Rue, y'all better stay out of my business unless y'all wanted to. Wow, that nigga's crazy. He burned. Certified. That, that nigga burnt all the way out, man. That King nigga He Rambo in here and asked that nigga who wanted the most burnt his home. We should watch what he did. He from Rambo generation. They from the same generation. Crazy as a motherfucker. For some reason, he listened to me. Like, if I'm there... Chicken, no, he won't. He'll chill out. He'll have a tantrum. Then I get in the car, and then he'll pull the thing like dude did, uh, Cameron did on that movie. What good is it having soldiers and you won't use them? He'll do all that shit. Nah, bro, you tripping. Chill out. Every nigga always got that one nigga they'll listen to, though. Every throw it off nigga always got, got a nigga like that. Who are they listen to? Hey, whack! That remind me of that nigga donut. <laughs> How'd you be like that? That's nigga another nigga. <laughs> one. That nigga donut from Queen Street. Like for some reason, I mean, I didn't have to wrestle this nigga 20, 30 times and fight this nigga on stage trying to stop him from doing shit. What donut said? He said, "Whack, you know why I listen to you?" He said, "What? Cause I know you burnt out, and I know you a thinker, and you just as crazy as I am. So if you telling me something, it's for a reason." I, I ain't listening to these scary ass niggas. These niggas get a nigga smoke. And when you telling me something, you catching my back and you trying to, you gonna make sure I get out of there. Yeah, like I, it's, I got a bunch of burnt out niggas for some reason. They listen to me. My whole circle. All them niggas is off they rocker. They listen to me. Burnt out wait. niggas only listen to other burnt out niggas though, bro. Nah, yeah. Ghost, Ghost, you had to see these niggas though. <laughs> like, no, these niggas is burnt <laughs> like Ghost. My look, these niggas. Go, these niggas is fried. Bumping and been around them. Fried, fried, gone. But 
they listen to me. When we moving, they on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, Chicken Mike, he, that nigga, like after that call, if y'all heard the next call, I put him on the phone with some of the homies. Oh, man, you thought these niggas was having a fatter with you? Everybody crazy. Every last one of them niggas on the phone is out, out of their goddamn mind. But around me, they don't talk. Now, one thing, Bumpy will tell you, they don't talk. Them niggas don't know. They don't, they don't say too much. Hell you know nah. Hell they, nah. <laughs> they be over there and over there. They talk with their hands. They watching body movement. And act like if I'm having a conversation with somebody, I'm constantly talking to them niggas with my hands because if they get to thinking something going on, them niggas just react. They pull that shit like that bitch on New Jack City. They just get out. And, you know, so I be, sometimes it get heated, but this might be somebody I know. You know, Ghost, you had them type of things with niggas you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Don't mean it's, don't mean it's a problem. That's just, y'all gonna get through it. You know what I'm saying? You know, niggas that get heated and all that shit, but if they don't know the nigga and they, boy, and I ain't communicating with them niggas with my hands and waving them niggas off and, boy, them niggas are, boy, I ain't even gonna lie, the nigga whack give you a look, bro. It's just a look that nigga give you, like, kick back. You know, I also could just say, tell a nigga, hey, you know what, you got that, and walk away. Get in my car and drive down the street, leave. And have it happen, it happen. You know what I'm saying? But I be really trying to keep the peace. For real, bro. I be trying to, for real, my nigga. I just, boy, really be trying to keep the peace. Because... If for whatever reason these crazy niggas are listening to me, then let me keep them close to me. The closer they are to me, the less crazy shit they somewhere doing. That's a fact. That's it. You know, they get mad and frustrated. Niggas be trying to get job, man, whack, man, trying to this, 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 this. What's the problem? What you been doing? Here, man, let me take care of that. Calm down. Because I know if I don't calm them down, Ghost, I know what they're going to do. Yeah, because you done been through that. That same situation yeah. we just talked about. Them niggas believe in the predator and the prey. Them niggas really believe in that shit. That shit probably made you pull the other niggas that surround you even closer to you after that shit happened, though. Yeah. I definitely did. Definitely did. So, you know, when, the nigga, you know, when I be in no, that's what be with me. You know, I don't be... That's why niggas can't say, oh, this dude on social media. Them niggas don't, man. Them niggas is pull up. What's up? I'm nigga on head nod. You see, they didn't seen Bumpy a few times. So they had talked to Bumpy. Other than that, Bumpy, tell you, they was on Bumpy's line. Who's this nigga? Bro, my, bro oh, my mama mugged me down. You feel me? But a nigga gonna stand. I done been here before, so I'm already knowing. Like, all right. On oh, me, bro. It's like when you first walk in that mind, you feel me? You got to introduce yourself to all the homies. Like, uh. All right, I'm gonna walk my shake everybody in. Oh, this whoop, whoop, okay, <laughs> boom. Everybody's gonna know. But hey, bro, them niggas, them niggas just said a word. But niggas didn't even let me in at first. No, they wouldn't. I had to come out. <laughs> I had to come out. I said, who? I said, oh, they go, hold on. <laughs> yo, yo, go. I could really see this is what I did learn from Suge Knight. Suge Knight get that type of shit around him, and then he wanted to abuse it and just do shit. Do shit. Total opposite. Total opposite. I'm telling them, yo, bring your girl and your kids out, bro. We finna go over here to this spot. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck all that. Yeah, you exercise that shit. You gotta exercise that Yeah, and I really don't want to like go. I go to an extreme to like, you know what I'm saying? And you know I'm mad. Them niggas they be like, hey. Hey, my little nephew sent me some shit. Well, so who is this nigga? Where he at? Man, don't pay that nigga no mind, man. He just talking. Man, them you know what I'm saying? On some real shit. You see, he just talking, man. You see what yeah. happened to Shug? You see how he played himself with that shit? R&B didn't been around them niggas, baby. Them niggas that be around me. How much talk do them niggas do? My, my circle. Oh, they don't talk. You talking about the, <laughs> the, 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 the. Yo, I put the biggest on R&B when we went to the fight. <laughs> I put the niggas on R&B, R&B. <laughs> Is this what it felt like to build a prison yard? 
I say, yo, yeah, that four, worry. that four detail. You feel me? One yeah, on each corner, that. walking them like how the uh, how the North Thingos walk <laughs> their people. Yeah, little do that. Whatever, water go better. Whatever. We got. Yeah, so I be ghost. I be like, cause I, that nigga shook. That nigga man, he that nigga used to abuse that shit. He'll go lie on a nigga. Hey, yeah, man. Woo, 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 woo. He been told the bitch what? Watch this. Go tell them niggas, yo, this nigga, this nigga in the middle of some business. He fucking up a million dollar deal. And it's all behind. He showing the bitch he got some power. And David went over here, took a penitentiary trans, did some more crazy shit. A lot of them niggas don't like him because they didn't figure it out. They was being sent on missions on the false pretense. Bunch of them niggas today despise him about that shit. It's a lot of niggas that do that, bro. It's a lot of niggas that be having niggas under them that, that listen to what they say and they abuse that shit, bro. Y'all do that. For one, I don't, all my niggas got kids and, you know, on some real shit, it, it, you know, don't don't take that risk with them and their life and their freedom playing. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't do that. That ain't cool. And my thing is... If we're going to take that risk, Ghost, it's always the most situation the two weeks close out if that's what we own. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't just be doing that shit to do that shit. I mean, you know how many times we done been at gas stations or these little clubs and all this shit. And um, you heard the nigga on um, No Jumper when Adam caught him. He said, yeah, whack, you know, you came out, you played peace, you know, peacemaker. Nigga, I saved your motherfucking life. And it'd be funny to me when niggas be going crazy and they don't even see the two niggas on the side of them that's ready to knock their brains out. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, nah, hold on, homie. What, what's going on? Let me holler at you. Every time I tell a nigga, let me holler at you and I'm putting you away, that's because I'm trying to get you away from the threat. You know what I'm saying? Because the closer them niggas is to you, any given second, you could do or say something there and react. So if I can pull you 15 feet this way, me and you, they not going to do that. And then if they try to walk over there, I can wave them off. Nah, it's cool. Like, I really be trying to really for real, man, because niggas really got kids to get on to. And some like of these that no niggas, jumper, right? Yeah, some of these niggas be drunk and high. Man, I be seeing that shit, bro. Nigga be acting weird and a little crazy, but I'm seeing Ghost, this ain't him. The nigga faded, he fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You kill this nigga right now, he ain't gonna even know he dead. But guess who gonna know he dead? That little girl at home, that little boy at home, his mama. Gonna fuck they whole world up. Yeah, bro. On some real, and I honestly believe, you know, a lot of them good deeds, shit, they come back and help me in the long run somehow, some way. They really do, though. I, I'm looking at a nigga I can tell like when a nigga just <clears throat> he on that versus he just he fucked up he loaded you know what I'm saying he high like you know come on like bro look like, it, man listen man he be alright the nigga high man I mean, y'all y'all get your mans up out here that's what I thought my nigga you got it I'll holler at you another day bro cause I really don't I, I, I don't get no brownie points going on the football field with a high school team playing a pot water team with nine year old but you know they scored a hundred points. What what are we supposed to do? What are we we gonna set the battlefield? You know, make sure it's challenging. But y'all, you know this dude is talking and don't know what he's saying. Nah, man, let that man go home, man. Cause guess what? We all got a nigga in our family or close to us that's just like him. What would you want a motherfucker to do if that was your people in this same situation, knowing this nigga is not aware of what he's doing or saying? Please spare mine. Please spare mine. It's real shit. That's the way I look at it. You know, Ghost, my mind is like, you know, that Terminator movie when that nigga was driving through the parking lot and there's all kind of analytics going on. That's how my mind works. It be factoring and, and figuring and, 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 and giving me different ways to look at shit and okay, well, you know, and, and that's how it works. So I just move like that. I think on my toes. You want to beat me? Go over there with a figuring session. Nigga, where you ain't going to win, throw whack in the storm. Put us in the storm where everything is happening that you didn't think was going to happen. That's where I perform best. Right there in that pocket. That's my pocket. I 
I'm allowing to fumble the ball, nigga, as the quarterback, if everything is calm and cool. But you put me in a situation where they pass rushing, I got to scramble, I got to do something with this shit, boy, I'm, I work magic then. So, yeah, I just found that out. I said, God damn, man, lady been mad at me all this time. I ain't did shit. So you just really found out she had an issue with you today, though? Uh, bro, I've never even known his wife. I didn't even know that that he was, uh, you know, like even married to somebody that was related to people in my city. And she related to, nigga, she fucking related to Mikey. Mikey probably know who she is. Just ain't said nothing to me. She gotta be. Gotta be. PVD from Compton, nigga. I thought, you know, but then again, I got people from Compton and Watts and shit and everywhere, you know. Um, my city was like, okay, now it's a city called Palmdale, Lancaster. A lot of people from Compton, Watts, and the Valley, South Central, they migrate over there as they do to like Fontana and like Diamond Bar and shit like that. But Coin was a city that back in the 60s and 70s, it was cheap to live out there and less congested. It was like farm property. So people from LA migrated 10, 12 miles that way. So a lot of our family, you know, we got family that's over there and over there and over there. My homeboy Pooh Ryder, his daddy, his daddy, original Compton Crip. His other family from motherfucking insane from Long Beach. His grandmama moved to Vaquima. That's how he got there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until the mid-90s to where it was a generation that all they knew was just Vaquima. Because even now I got family in Watts and family over there and family over there to where our kids, all they know is that. They just know that. Yeah, crazy. Small world. Where Mikey at? I bet Mikey know the lady. Where Mike? Where Mike picking Mikey in there? He gotta know her. But I didn't know. I told the I told the attorney. I said, "Shit, bro." I didn't know I couldn't let him know what my what my plans was. I damn sure had plans. That's a fact. I didn't know it was against the law to have plans. I thought this was the hearing to show where the funds came from. There wasn't drug money and all that. He said, yeah, until you brought it to the table, I had to come off the mic. Like, yo, what you mean you don't know where the money came from? I sent you six months bank statements. That's season money. Man, that shit wild. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I nigga say where you live I said I said I live everywhere Got a house here house there house there I live everywhere man what you mean where I live I'm an Oklahoma resident if that's what you asking <laughs> shit <laughs> hey Mike it really sounded like they thought you weren't capable of legally bailing him out I mean, I didn't know that they asked so many questions at a <laughs> Yo, me either. Your guess was good as mine. Oh, no shit. Crazy. Yeah, I, was I said, y'all, we got a book out. I'm like, you really show a nigga love because to have to be going for all them damn questions. Yeah, I'm like, y'all already got a book out. Book ain't got nothing to do with me. Shit, I hear something going on that way. I don't know, but the book is out. I mean, he got a deal going on with the book people. I don't shit. Book been out for four, five years or something. And them fools bringing up that Vlad interview. That's just crazy, man, because that's yeah. all just entertainment purposes. Yeah, man, I did the Vlad interview before I had even talked to GVD about this shit. I did the Vlad interview. I said, yo, so y'all telling me that the Vlad is, is law? I mean, he need to start swearing motherfuckers in on the oath. Yeah, right. 
For real. But shit, whack. Didn't you bail people out in Las Vegas before? Man, I, didn't, I told them that. They know that. That judge know. That's I'm the right. one when went and bailed bail Blueface out up under her on attempted murder. That was they just know recently, that. too. Yeah, they know that. Then I had to double back and post another bail when he caught the other case with Krishan. That shit really validate when you say niggas be hating shit because of you. Yeah, and then and then they didn't want to let him out then because they said he didn't. Um, that's why they asked me was our residence because they said he he need, he needed a house to go to out here to even get out on house arrest because they was making him stay here. Yeah, I said okay, I got that too. Provided the house. They like well, I said listen, I got a two year lease on this house. It's, it's my name on it, so y'all can come. I'm surrendering it to y'all. Y'all can go search and do what you want. Is he going to be on house arrest? In two years, if he's still on house arrest, we can revisit it, but there it go. That's why he asked that. And when remember, Blue Vapor was on house arrest for about two months. Out here, two, three months. Yes, sir. I remember that. Well, I told him, I said, this ain't the first person I didn't bailed out of y'all system. This would have been California, man. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. We can show the money, go through, that's it. You catch a murder, they gonna give you a two million dollar bond, nigga. You come up with the bag, nigga, you out. That's it. They can care less. They don't care. Nevada, different. Yeah, they wanna know if you're a middleman and all that shit. <laughs> different. I'm like middleman to what? And ain't no contract. When I'm a middleman. No contract. That's crazy. <laughs> they They're said, reaching like a motherfucker. You see, at the end, they was like, well, we can't determine where the money come from. I said, yes, you can. I sent you six months bank statements. The bail bondman is on here right now somewhere. I see his name of it. Yeah, that's, that's when he crazy. Said. Yeah, but you notice the DA wasn't going to say none of that. Because for the DA to show that debunks or supports what Keefe D was saying with the, you know, I told my wife anything because she don't like it. Absolutely. He didn't even want that to come out. You see the way he said it? Yeah, well, you know, they, he don't really, she don't like him, you know. Whack. Um, did you anticipate it being like it was in there in that court? <laughs> nah, but I understand court. I just thought they wanted to make sure I was the one sent the funds and all the shit. Well, But I'm like, damn, man, why he like that with his wife? He said, man, she went in there and that nigga all kind of sell out. So I said, for what? He said, she don't like you. For what? He said, she and her family. I said, who? And then she said, Chicken Mike. I said, Chicken Mike? Jatisha. I said, what the fuck that got to do with me? Chicken Mike they is a crazy nigga from your neighborhood. Yeah. Hey, they think you paid with attorney. I said, paid with attorney? Everybody know the nigga had a public defender. What the fuck is you talking about? So there it went. So that's where that went. So he was trying to like, he thought he needed her to sign some shit. So he like, nah, baby, he just the front. He ain't got nothing like that. That's that's them Jewish people. He the front. He tried to tell her whatever he needed to tell her to get her to sign whatever he thought she needed her to sign. And all he really needed her to do was let the people in the house to uh for the house arrest shit. So if he ain't out of location to go to, they weren't gonna let him out. That's crazy, man. Treating the homie like he nigga went to the block and got his money or something. Like, what the fuck you doing, man? Shit. Yeah, what it is. That nigga said, well, what do you consider a friend? Shit. Man from two different sides. Shit, we can sit down, meet, have a conversation, keep it respectful. That's a friend to me. I don't know. What's a friend to you? <laughs> shit. <laughs> that was such a dumbass question, too, because like, question. people could meet somebody, like, <laughs> and not even that long be calling them a friend. So, like, yeah. what is the point of that question? 
I don't know, they got guidelines on, you know, you got to register, like, you know, it's been a year, two years. Yeah, yeah now we can everybody, be friends. Everybody knows who the nigga is. Shit. Motherfuckers across the globe know the nigga name. Hey, was you tripping when they brought out the content like that on you, though? That was kind of crazy. No, you can't. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, all they gonna do is question you about it. But see, all them conversations happened before I even posted the bond. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that happened before the bond even got posted. So when my bondsman asked me, you got a contract with it? I said, no, I ain't. I said, we ain't did that yet. So we got to wait to see what happened in court. I said, but, you know, I'm trying to get his car back for him. It's, out, it's over this, over there in the Carolina somewhere. So that's what I told him. I said, yo, your son bullshitting. You know, I talked to the nigga, but y'all got to take it from there. I did my part. It ain't gonna put a motherfucking gag order on your ass anyway, but you ain't gonna be able to do no shit while that nigga in trial, bro. I ain't gonna let that happen. At all. Shit. They ain't stop OJ for doing nothing after he beat his shit. That nigga did all kind of shit. Books, motherfucking. Wasn't it a TV series? It is a series out. It's an OJ series out, yup. Cuba Gooden Jr. played the motherfucker. He played OJ. Hell yeah. Yeah, I thought Nick could tell that story. I ain't, I ain't know that was a part. Yeah. Like I told him, I said, listen. Yeah, you know everything's said and done. But right now, there's nothing in place. We talking about right now? Nah, ain't nothing in place. That nigga said, pair my pictures. This nigga here crazy as a motherfucker. This DA crazy. Paramount, nigga. What you talking about? If Paramount wanted, they'd have just came and got the nigga. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> yeah. You know the crazy part about it? If Paramount would have put it up, they probably wouldn't even question it. Exactly. Say that. For real. But boy, I tell you this, we making history. However it go, they talking. I bet what they can't say, they can't say whack them put the bag up. I ain't say you ain't had the money. <laughs> so he did the six months of the bank statements and everything. One nigga yeah. got it. What we talking about? That's it, hey. Whack. Hey, Whack, what up? It's Mikey. Yo, Mikey. What's up? Who is Keefe D. wife? She about to be related to y'all. That's Lady and Sisters. That's a lady, uh, I think her mama adopted her. Lady Paula? Sister? Yeah, her name you Paula. You talking about Janine now? Nah, not Janine. Her name Paula. Paula Clinton. So, that's, okay. Who is she to Janine? She's a, a her, their mama adopted her. Okay, slow down, slow down. Janine, their mama adopted Paula, Keefe D. White. Yeah. White. Yeah. Oh, see, there you go. That's what I was telling you. I'm like, he a no because that's his family. <laughs> that's his family. Let me, I said, hey, yeah. I don't, I don't know. So she's an adopted. I thought she knew that shit already. I was going to nah. tell you when, when you were talking know. to her. I didn't know. I don't know her. You I was talking know. to one of them. I thought you knew that shit. Yeah, because I had to. It's the second or third time, and they tell me that nigga Jamie Cause GT said he was gonna holler at that nigga, started that shit talking about I paid for an attorney. I said the nigga had a, a public defender the whole way. What the fuck are y'all talking about? 
talking that about? Nigga, that nigga ain't had no fucking paid attorney in that courtroom not one day. What the? Jamie was running around there telling people, Ooh. whack paid for attorney. And for who? For chicken. Oh, no, I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm like, I ain't paying for no attorney for that nigga. That nigga got a public defender the whole way, A to Z. Uh, shit, I ain't heard that That shit. nigga had a quarter million that Jamie was doing. That, that's what she thinks. So she's an adopted kid from them. You know what I'm saying, y'all? I would have right never now. known that. Hold on, let me see something. Because you and your teacher, y'all first cousins, right? Yeah. Yes, Your sir. mama and her daddy, sister and brother, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all know y'all first mama. first cousins. Uh... You said Paula was adopted by Janina's mama? She wasn't adopted by her. She not adopted? No. She, she just, just grew up with him or something? Janina's mama, Janina mama dated Paula's daddy for a long oh, time. So they just okay. said they're sisters. They like, okay. That type of shit. See, <laughs> I wouldn't have never even known. You didn't get out? Huh? Get out? No, they still... Oh, yeah. They, they still in there deliberate the chambers. I would have never known. They said they going over paperwork and shit. Uh-huh. They going over paperwork see if they really want to do it. Yeah, she you called know. that nigga all kind of sellouts for talking Ooh. to me. I don't even know. You gotta ride up these stairs. I'm out of breath. Nothing. Tell your mama I said hi, nigga. Uh, wow, Wax said, what's up? <laughs> she said, hey. Oh, yeah, so... <laughs> She said, how you doing? Oh. Crazy in the motherfucker still. Who crazy? What? Same oh, old nigga. She crazy, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> he said, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we all fucked up in the head. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> Yo, this is a small world, my nigga. Y'all yeah, see how they know what the fuck was going on with that shit? I had no idea. Yeah, see, I was told they was ado- she was adopted, but I guess they was just mama dating their daddy. So they said they was baby, sisters. so the girl was killed. Their, her mama or daddy somehow dated KVD's wife, mama's and daddy. So they kind of like Sisters through marriage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Crazy. Small world. I don't even like hearing that story. Every time you talk about that nigga, I just get offline. You ain't notice? Man, listen, man. Yo, go talk to GT, nigga, and watch what GT tell you. Nigga, I told her with that nigga on the phone. Leave that nigga where he at. I know I heard it a million one time. We see, leave we, that nigga with a fucking we all, and I co hey, heard with him right there. He's like, what you saying? Him. I'm like, nigga, I'm telling you, you need to deal with you dealing with, and she need to go her fucking way and get she needs some space. Leave that nigga where he at. Yeah. That's it. You know we all try to tell her, but you know her and her attitude. She don't want to hear nothing nobody gotta say. Yeah, yeah. Oh, son, that motherfucker was crazy too. Them both them motherfuckers crazy. Boy, she could have been a, uh, she could have had a program, boy. You want to break a man down? Put him in a room with her. Let her talk to him through a microphone. She'll break that nigga right on down. Call that nigga some shit he ain't never heard before. Yeah, that's my crazy ass cousin, nigga. She crazy about it, Mikey. She never, she never disrespected me. She listened to me. She never, never fucked with me. Always, she always was respectful. Me and my brother Bob, she fucked with us. Right. She like, y'all always look out for me. The rest of these niggas be up to shit. <laughs> that's how that that's her. Shit. Nigga, I call her one day, she go big on me, like, goddamn. <laughs> that's her. Shit. It's crazy, boy. Hey, hey. It's crazy how they connected to a lot of motherfuckers. Huh? Fuckers that don't even realize it. Yeah. I talked to Natasha too. <laughs> you know she called me. Did she? Yep. Yeah. She confirmed everything you said, nigga. 
Nigga, that's the fact. He told no lies. Yeah. He called me like two days after you uh, posted that shit. She called me like, nigga, he ain't telling no lies. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, I was trying to lick with relaxers, Chris. Yeah, so, yeah, that shit was crazy. When I heard, I'm like, yo, little Keithy, what's that? He's like, man, <clears throat> moms, man. When he told me, I was like, shit. Damn, nigga, I didn't know your mama was from Pacoima. He like, she not. That's why I was confused. I'm like, shit. The fuck out of how that get? Nigga, she used to always be in the knives, though, with ladies in No shit? Yeah. Oh, man, I got to remember. She used to always be over there. Yeah, back in the day, she was But she, you know what? Is she old? Because Keefe, like, 60. She might be older, bro. Yes. She my mom in them age. Yeah, she got to be older. She up there. Yeah, she used to be. I keep telling me CL packed somebody else. CL got packed. Wait, what's going on? CL packed Zim. Oh, Zim, Zim and CL going at it. <laughs> yeah, where's Zim at? I don't even take them niggas serious no more. You niggas do that shit every three months. Yeah, I don't, I don't take them <laughs> niggas serious at all. Oh, man, yeah. Crazy shit. I told his uh, son, though, I said, bro, sometimes you can't fight it. Shit happened for a reason. Might be saving him from something. Yeah, God always got a plan. Well, damn, damn, you can't fight him, my nigga. When you know it ain't supposed to go that way, and it goes that way, might be for a reason. Nigga, something bad gonna happen. If it ain't supposed to be, nigga. Oh, shit. Might be a reason for you, too. Like, you ain't supposed to, you know? Hey, let them know. Yeah. Oh, shit, I ain't mad. I, I, keep it, I keep it moving with the punches. Hey, bro, we keep it breathing, smiling, and prayed up, my nigga. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. As soon as I got off Zoom, nigga, I went in there, nigga, and shit. I know what you did. You ain't got to say I it, I went nigga. in there and played motherfucking... Uh, Ride the little horse. <laughs> the nigga went back. You went uh, Melvin on baby sure boy. Hey, I was looking over there, side eyeing her. I said, "Now you know you over there sitting on that ground like that. You know." I said, "I can't wait till they tell me that they done with me." Yeah. <laughs> Clubhouse. Clubhouse. V. V. Clubhouse. V. Clubhouse, Clubhouse, so listening to Wack and the judge in the courtroom about what happened, um, it seems like Keefe D's bail was denied for the time being. So it looks like he may get out, just not at this time. Um, the judge said that they wanted to go and check the funds to see where the actual money was coming from. So that's why Keefe D is still locked up at the moment. And you already know, Wack wants this to happen. And he's going to try his best to make this happen. Um, it does seem that if it was anybody other than Wack, then they probably would have uh, would have let Keefe D out today. Um, and since people are talking and saying that Wack said this and Wack said that, that he wanted a contract signed and he wanted 10 television shows done before the trial even began and things of that nature. Um, the judge is going to take all of that into consideration and account um, to see if Keefe D should be let out of jail. Um, they don't want anything, you know, to hinder that or anything that may happen while Keefe is out of jail. Um, but I'm definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say about this. 
Do you think Keefe D should have been released today with Wack bailing him out? Or do you think that he deserves to stay in? Um, bailed out by Wack 100. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. I certainly appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for checking me out. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We out of here.